हेलो एवरीवन अ बिग हेलो टू ऑल द सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑफ बाय टेक्निका सो गाइस एज यू हैव माइट हैव नोटिस्ड ऑलरेडी दैट यूपीएससी आईएफएस एग्जाम्स एडवर्टाइजमेंट इज ऑलरेडी पब्लिश्ड द एडवर्टाइजमेंट द डिटेल एडवर्टाइजमेंट इज अवेलेबल इन यूपीएससी वेबसाइट एंड ऑल्सो द डिटेल ऑफ इट इज देयर अवेलेबल ऑन बाय टेक्निकाज वेबसाइट एज वेल uh but here because if you have to read uh, that advertisement it is um, some 50 55 pages long with a lot of information given so yes those informations are important and if you are applying for this exam i will suggest that you go through it but for your easy understanding i have broken down all the important information and presenting to you in this video so upsc's ifs examination that is for indian forest services examination uh, the the uh, it has been uh, the advertisement has come up so let's see each of the important things here so starting with how to apply so here the online application so here you have to apply only by online application okay it is clearly mentioned in the advertisement that no postal uh, application or no in person application will be entertained completely online application only you have to do the application form is available in upsc's official website that is www.upsconline.nic.in now uh once you when you are filling up the um application one thing is important that it is essential you it, it is required for every single candidate to register for the otr platform first otr stands for one time registration so this otr uh, th this registration holds true that you have to do only once in lifetime but without this otr registration you cannot apply for any upsc exam okay so you have to first finish this otr application and this otr application is also available in ups in the commission's um, website as and it can be filled year round okay so like if you have filled it before if any time before you have filled it up then you can uh, you don't have to worry you can straight away go and apply for the exam but if your otr is not filled yet then first you have to fill up the otr okay and then only you can fill up the application for this upsc exam okay now once you have filled the exam ex application there will be no withdrawal okay so withdrawal of application once submitted will not be allowed yes there are some guidelines given regarding any change of information if you want to do okay so if you have submitted the otr and there you have to do any changes that is also allowed and the guidelines regarding to that is in, is is mentioned in the application form in the in the advertisement as well as if uh, you have to do any changes in the Uh, application once you have submitted that those changes can also be done done but there are certain guidelines regarding that so in case you have to do it please go through that guidelines and it will help you out like the time limit and till when what time you can do till which date you can do so all of those things are mentioned in the detailed application now with the application so uh, now application that you will fill up after the otr uh, registration need to be accompanied with a photo id okay so a scanned copy of this uh, photo id has to be uploaded along with the application and now this it, it cannot be just any photo id it has to be an a government issued photo id like uh, your driving license passport uh, voter card i uh, pan card aadhar card okay or any other government issued like any i card that has been issued by the state or the central government is valid okay now you have to so as i told you this photo id you have to provide with the application and the scanned copy of that also need to be uploaded and also it is advised that this photo id only taken for only will be taken on for all kind of communication along with your valid email id okay so make sure when you are applying for the uh, form when you are filling up the application you make sure that you fill up your uh, email id properly and this photo id okay so upload a government issued photo id where the informations are still valid like your address or uh, the 
the phone number or if anything such like that is given so make sure that those are valid and then only upload this photo id because that only will be taken for any future um, uh, communication between you and the commission okay right now there are list of centers okay so a lot many centers have been given for this um, preliminary exam so here the uh, the, the 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 lot many centers are there okay but at the same time you have to understand that, uh, that more many of the centers have an upper limit of the candidates okay so there is an upper limit set for many of the centers so in case that upper limit has reached then you will not be allowed to check that or select that center okay so an allotment of the centers will be on first apply first allot basis so in case you are not getting your center of choice so then uh, it's 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 upper limit is filled up so you will not be getting that center and in that case you will have to apply for some uh, choose some other center okay and also in the advertisement it is very clearly mentioned that any application or any request for change of exam center will not be entertained i repeat it will not be entertained okay so make sure you choose your center correctly and since the centers will be allotted first apply first allot basis and also there is a upper limit for many centers so if you are filling up the examination form i will suggest that do it as soon as possible okay so that you get your center of choice now last date yes last date is 21st february 2023 till six o'clock in the evening okay so till that time you can fill up the application form okay but there is no point keeping it for the end moment if you are interested if you are eligible please do it as soon as possible okay now regarding the issue of admit card so again in the advertisement itself it is very clearly mentioned that uh, no application uh, sorry uh, no admit card will be sent by post the admit cards will be sent only the e-admit card only will be sent okay and that will be sent three weeks before the commencement of the exam okay and the e-admit cards will be available again in, on UPSC's um, official website for uh, the candidates to download okay no post no no hard copy of admit card will be sent by post Okay, only e-admit card will be there that you have to download for the, from their website. Now, UPSC, because many people have doubts regarding filling up the application and they have many questions, so UPSC has set up help centers for guidance. Okay, so there, there, there are two help centers given. So one help center is UPSC's uh, facilitation counter near Seagate on its campus where you can go and inquire about any help or uh, you can you can ask about any help in person there. Okay, you can go in person and inquire and they will help you out with any queries that you have and in telephone if you have to contact so there are three telephone numbers given where you can call on the working days between 10 a.m to 5 p.m okay so if you have any doubt while filling up the exam if you have any question regarding anything please go ahead ask these numbers call these numbers or go to this place in person and get your queries clear okay and then only fill up the, uh, the application Now coming to the application fee, so the application fee is minimal, it is rupees 100 only and that also uh, there are many exemptions, okay, like uh, the, the female candidates are exempted from this application fee, uh, the, the candidates from SCST caste are also exempted or pe person with uh, physical disabilities, they are also exempted, okay, so there is again a list of exemptions given in the advertisements, okay, so apart from that who are not not eligible for any exemptions then they have to pay this rupees 100 now this rupees 100 can be paid in cash or uh, by net banking or by rupee or uh, debit card or credit card through to uh, the sbi's branch now who all are eligible to write this exam so uh, this uh, uh, so first let's come to the nationality so definitely indian citizens are eligible apart from indian citizens citizens of bhutan nepal tibetan refugees 
and as well as people a uh, person of indian origin who have migrated to india with the intention of settling down permanently from uh, pakistan sri lanka or any eastern african uh, countries okay they all are eligible to apply for this exam now for what, how about the educational qualification so the minimal educational qualification required is a bachelor's degree with one specific subject okay there is a list of subject given again like uh, chemistry agriculture animal husbandry uh, any branch of engineering and uh, okay so there the uh, there's there's list statistics is also there mathematics is there okay so uh, botany zoology so any of uh, branches okay uh, they all can apply for the detailed list please go through the advertisement okay so uh, but the minimum qualification is a bachelor's degree with any of those mentioned subjects now as far as age limit is concerned yes there is a minimum age of 21 years and the maximum age is of 32 years that is the person must not have attained the age of 32 years on 1st of august 2023 okay within this age limit anybody can apply they are eligible for the exam now again there are certain exemptions mentioned regarding the upper age limit and for those exemptions please go through the detailed and um, advertisement now I, i would like to tell you about the plan of the exam so upsc ifs exam happens in two phases okay so this application this advertisement that has opened up right now is for the preliminary exam okay so civil services preliminary exam will be held in objective type manner all right and it will be through an omr sheet and again you are advised so there are the, like the phone uh, the phones calculators pagers they are not at all allowed in the exam hall and you are suggested not to even bring it to the exam center and while filling up the omr sheet it is uh, it, it is uh, uh, only a black ballpoint pen you have to use okay so all those informations are there Uh, which you have to follow instructions that you have to follow during the exam so this application as i was telling you is for the preliminary exam okay and all the candidates who qualify the preliminary exam okay so this preliminary exam is held for selection of candidates for the main exam okay so whoever will qualify this preliminary exam then only they will be eligible to apply for the main exam okay i ifs main exam so this civil services preliminary exam is like a common entrance test that happens and only when you uh, qualify in this exam then you have to fill up one more application form where you have to again up, submit all your certificates all your mark sheets and everything and then that will be the application for your ifs main exam okay so this preliminary uh, civil services preliminary exam is supposed is uh, the tentative date is already given 28th may 2023 okay so this application that i'm talking about is 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 for this preliminary exam okay which is supposed to happen on 28th may okay so definitely if there is nothing uh, like no um, no drastic situation or anything so the exam will be uh, is scheduled in this date okay now the candidates who qualify it they will be eligible for ifs main exam okay and ifs main exam will have written plus interview okay and that will help in the selection of candidates for the indian forest services the tentative date of the exam is given to be november 2023 okay so once you qualify the preliminary exam then you have to uh, as i was telling you you have to uh, fill up another application form with all your certificates and then again you have to choose your exam centers okay for your written as well as interview all right and uh, so after you go through all of this then you will be selected now in the application uh, in this advertisement it is very clearly mentioned that uh, it is supposed to fill up vacancies of around 150 okay so there are around 150 vacancies which are there which needs to be filled up by this uh, selection process so guys whoever is interested in this exam please go ahead and fill up the form and if you need any help please contact the help center of upsc for further guidance thank you everyone bye all the best